picking it out. Well, when I became commissioner, I said I'm, to my mother, I'm going to be head of the SEC. And she told our friend I was going to be head of the Security Exchange Commission. So- <laughs> Uh, that, that was an interesting story. Um, the president of the NCA at the time was Will Bailey, who was president, I think, of the vet school at Auburn. And he called me up and he said, I'd like you to interview to be the commissioner of the Southeastern Conference. And I said, well, I'm really involved here at the academy. I've got a long career ahead of me. And I don't really. I was on the NCA council with him and the NCA executive committee. And. I traveled to Birmingham and met at the old Central Bank building in downtown Birmingham. And sitting around the table were the 10 presidents or chancellors of the then the SEC, LSU, Alabama, Auburn, Florida, Georgia, Mississippi State, Mississippi, Vanderbilt, and so forth. And the night before, everybody was congratulating Roy Kramer on getting the job. The night before. Idiot. So Roy, good friend, as you know, was the AD at Vanderbilt, and he was going to be the heir apparent. And he was interviewed just after me. So they could those presidents couldn't get to Roy fast enough. They wanted me out of that room. <laughs> my language, but they want my ass moving out of there as fast as they could get it out of there. <laughs> uh-huh. So um Gerald Turner was the chancellor of Mississippi. He's now the president of SMU. He asked me the question. He said, I don't think we want somebody from the military because I was still on active duty. And I said, why? I said, well, people will say that the commissioner will have a a military mind. So I stood up and I said, you know, this conference has been known for cheating its entire existence. It wouldn't be a bad thing to pick somebody from an institution where you don't lie, cheat, or steal, but you certainly don't tolerate it. And I walked out. There you go. And they offered me the job. <laughs> wow. I called, I called my wife and said, don't worry, we're not moving. And uh, they wanted me. Uh, Turner and uh, Wyatt, the president of Vanderbilt, came out to visit my family and on the way to have lunch with them, I pulled my son, Derek, you may know he's with the Braves and um, he was 14 at the time. I said, they're going to ask you the schools in the Southeastern conference. You know him? He said, no, I don't know. So I said, okay, let's go through it. Alabama, Auburn. We go into the restaurant and Turner turns to Derek and says, you know the schools in the Southeastern Conference? And Derek says, my dad told me on the way over here, but I can't remember. And I said, we don't lie, cheat, or steal either. <laughs> so it's just a family story. Oh, yeah. It's, it was, but SEC, it, it was a, as you know from your background and most of your listeners, there is no conference like the SEC. You know, Big 12, Big 10, all of them – try to mimic a lot of things that happened. But when I, when I was commissioner, there wasn't really a lot of professional sports in the Southeast, you know, right. like there wasn't an NBA in North Carolina. There wasn't, you know, and even to this day, Alabama, there wasn't a professional team in Tennessee, but certainly not Mississippi. There were only one or two in Florida. So it was all about college sports. Yeah. And everybody knew everything. Everybody knew every recruit, you know, they'd have recruiting parties, they every and it would be for a cell phone, so people were in pay booths talking to each other, you know. Mm-hmm. It, was just, it was just every territory was a little bit different. You knew you were in Louisiana, you knew you were in Mississippi, you knew you were in Florida, you knew you were in Alabama, you knew you were in Georgia. And uh it was just you were treated in a way when you were the commissioner special. Now, I know the commissioners of all of the professional leagues. They're all friends. They don't get treated the way the SEC commissioner gets treated. Mm. People, people love the commissioner because it's part of their everyday life. And, you know, um, one day I was going to a game at Tuscaloosa when they already had their new stadium. I was going about 80 miles an hour to get there. And I got stopped by an Alabama trooper, and he started to fill out the summons giving me a ticket and he got to the part that said occupation 
And I said, Commissioner. He said, Commissioner what? I said, the Southeastern Conference. And he ripped up the ticket and asked my autograph. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> 